All right, you guys. So it's been a long three days with these things. Uh, the injectors and the fuel pump at the back. Wiring, it's a bitch. I hate wiring, I don't like doing it. So anyways, um, as you guys saw the fuel pump, I soldered that on. Uh, that should be straight. So I soldered one of these on. Then I uh, messaged my uh, one of my advisors. I asked him what um, if the color, the black and the black, the 12 volt constant goes to the positive. Um, he told me he's not sure. He's pretty sure. I looked something up. Couldn't really find anything. But anyways, um, so I yeah I went ahead and did that. But then I told him that I'm gonna solder them on. He said don't solder them on. Um, it's better to use butt connectors. So I went ahead and used butt connectors for the rest. And then I'm gonna put on shrink wrap. And then um, they should be good to go. But like I've said before, they are a bitch. The reason I didn't want to do butt connectors in the first place is because I suck at butt connectors. Like, I, not, not, not that I suck, but sometimes when I crimp them, I don't crimp them enough or I crimp them too much and then they break. So then I went ahead yesterday I went ahead and bought this. I'll get this real quick. This crimper pliers. So they tighten up on their own to the max that you could tighten it up for each one. And then it stops where that's enough, or once you hit too much, it goes resets and it goes back out. Which is pretty cool. Help me out right now. So I got them all on there and now. We're gonna have to test it out and see how this uh well i don't know how we're gonna have to test it out we're just gonna have to put everything back and i'm gonna see if there's a way to test it out to see if everything's going right or i don't, I don't even know i'm hoping everything from here on out is smoothly uh, i've been running into so many problems with this with this uh with the wiring just because i fucking suck at wiring and it's a pain in the ass and i hate it and well we're done so we're just gonna, I'm just gonna put all that back together, the fuel rail, and then uh, as you guys saw, I had the problem with the, with the back, so we'll see what I can do with that. <sighs> all right, so <clears throat> I was trying to figure out a way to heat shrink these, get heat shrink in there. The only way is taking this off, re taking everything off the plug, and then inserting slipping on the heat the heat shrink but the thing is sometimes this is very difficult to cut to come off and it'll cause even a bigger issue so i have to what i did is i uh, looked up to see what i could find for alternatives for heat shrink and i found heat shrink tape heat shrink tape right here <clears throat> so the um so basically, you stretch this out, you can stretch it out, make it thinner, wrap it around where you're gonna put it, and then heat it up. Just like heat shrink, you know? And then, after that, I'm gonna add some electrical tape. And after that, I'm gonna add this, um, this stuff. And then, yeah. It should look stock, should look new. I'm hoping they work. If they don't work, I'm going to have to rip all that off and redo everything. It's going to be an even bigger pain in the ass. I don't really want to do that. So, let's cross our fingers. <clears throat> Hope this works. Um, let's get into it. All right, so I got the fuel rail with the injectors on. We'll go ahead and put it on, and then we'll see where we go from there.
Okay. I put the fuel around. Okay, this was a while ago. I'm really fucking. Oh my, I'm just like fucking heated right now. I got into it with a fucking. This fuel pump back here did not want to fucking go in. I was about to start punching the fuck out of this thing, dude. I was getting frustrated as fuck. But luckily, I fucking got it in. You little bitch. I fucking win. Fuck you. You motherfucker. Fuck, man. I was like, I was ready to start fucking wailing on this. <laughs> like, um, you ever just get fucking frustrated that it don't go in so easy? And you know it should go in easy and you just want to fucking. Oh, man, dude. I just want to start just going crazy on it. But, anyways, I got it in. I just got to put the bolts on. I got to do the front, too. Got to put all the bolts on, get everything in. And uh, I don't know the only so this is the these two parts are the only sketchier parts that I'm really sketched out on um, I don't know if it doesn't start or if it doesn't anything it's because of these two either it's gonna be fuel if it doesn't start the camera died uh, but as I was saying if uh, the car doesn't start it's because of fuel but other than that it's good to go we should be done soon I'm hoping, I'm hoping it will be done soon. But anyways, don't forget to check out the shop. If you want some merch, go ahead and click the links down below. Also, if you want to custom chairs that Kawa made, go ahead and go on uh, Instagram and DM us. Or, and if any of the products that you see that are in the video, go ahead and uh, hit the links down below. I have some listed products that I've used in the past. Or if I have any products in this video that interest you, I probably have them down below. Go ahead and check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. See you in the next one.